reading a lot of email <laughs> and getting a lot of notifications about people that have ideas or want to fix something, but discussing issues with folks is a large uh, chunk of it. We have to keep in mind, like for Cordianess, I think we now have 5,000 PRs and issues, which means like typical PR and issue is four messages. So that's like 20K messages for Cordianess alone. So it's a lot of stuff that you need to read and have an opinion about, which means it costs a lot of time. I think that's in general, like if you want to contribute, that's fine. If it's really small, just open a PR and really explain why you want to need this change. So that's, that's important, like why is this an important change? And write it down in the PR description and in the commit, so we have it in Git as, uh, as well. Uh, anything else that is larger, open an issue first. It's really hard to see a huge PR and then usually with a bad commit message that just wants to change large chunks of the code base. And you're basically coming in like, I have no idea why this change is here and what this person wants to do. And then you get into a discussion like you need to tease it out, which is, yeah, I don't really have the time anymore to actually try to understand somebody else why you want to change this. It needs to be like upfront, either in the issue or in the, in the PR itself. open an issue if it's a large uh, contribution you want to make so we can discuss if that's that's wanted or not uh, really explain why you need to make a change but i've seen last year we had a whole bunch of commits that were simple uh, typos we had one typo one one pr typos are fine to merge but if you find a typo then it usually makes sense to go over the entire code base of the project and fix all the typos in one go which means you only have one pr but it's a, a large one that just fixes all the typos so I think that that's would be helpful for first-time contributors.